from me and my eye patches and my eyes roller. It is Monday morning at 7.24. Um, I've been up for about an hour. I had to take Jonathan into work um, because I have a news segment interview kind of thing this morning um, for my wedding planning job. Um, we've done this, a I've done it a couple times. This is my third time doing it now. And um, it's just a really quick little segment for their lifestyle, our local news channels, like lifestyle um, segment. So um, I have that this morning and then it's just a work day. I've, I'm debating if I wanna, I might go to the noon workout um, just cause I didn't work out yesterday. I mean, I was on my feet all day yesterday and like moving around and stuff, but I didn't actually work out. So um, the segment is at 9.30 and I'm guessing I'll be home by like 10.15, 10.30 at the latest. And then the workout class at noon. So it's just like an inconvenient like little gap, but um, I have a feeling, oh, I don't know, or should I just lift tonight with Jonathan? Oh wait, no, because I have a girls night tonight. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go to noon, um, which is fine. I, it's a strong class too at noon, which I love. Um, that's my favorite class to take. So um, I should probably sign up if it's not full already. Although I did see that class, you know, it's probably, probably full knowing my luck. So let's see here. Oh no, there is, okay, there are openings, so. Okay, anyway, holy cow, sidetrack. But, um, okay, so I'm gonna go to a noon workout and then do a little bit of work after that. Then I'll have to take up Jonathan. And then I'm going to a girls night with the Serendipitous Events girls um, tonight at our co one of the co-owners' houses. So, um, news interview, workout, work, pick up Jonathan, dinner, girls night so busy day but like spread out if that makes sense um so anyway it's gonna be a good day happy Monday I don't know if I said that it is Monday um kicking off the week with a busy day okay so here's our breakfast it's a little weird I ended up not doing eggs just because I just I'm not feeling it today so this actually I might not end up eating both of these but they're here. Um, this is cottage cheese with hemp hearts and honey, which I'd fully understand people might be really grossed out by. This right here is half a cup of cottage cheese and one tablespoon of hemp hearts, which is that alone was what, 12 plus five. So <clears throat> that was literally so much protein. So this is half a cup. Sadie, get off. Go. So this is half a cup of cottage cheese with one tablespoon of hemp hearts. And this is 17 grams of protein right here. Um, and then I just put honey on top. You could put fruit in it. I don't have like berries or anything. So I'm just eating it like this. Um, and I love it. I think it's great. It's a great source of protein. Um, try it if you like cottage cheese. Um, the hemp hearts are new to me though, so I'm curious of how that'll be. These are just some walnuts that are roasted and salted. Another good source of protein. Um, apple, this, I talked about this in my Instagram stories. These are new apples from Costco. They're called the Wild Twist. It's a blend of honey crisp and like some pink something apple, not pink lady, but like some other, I don't know, brand of apple. Um, and they're really, really good. And then obviously banana and some coffee. So this is what we're working with and lots of protein. I mean, not lots, but this is probably 25 ish grams of protein. I forget how much the, is in the walnuts. And then I do have like some heavy whipping cream in the coffee. So anyway, just almost like a snack plate version of like a breakfast, but yeah, starting off the day with a healthy little brekkie. Okay. I'm all ready. <laughs> jump scare for you um all dressed and I actually I have about just under 10 minutes before I have to leave so I'm just gonna quick clean up our bedroom a little bit make the bed I haven't made the bed yet um and just neaten it up a little bit so that I can just feel better about the house when I get back um it's not that we've been like slacking on cleaning I just feel like since we've been back from our honeymoon we've been like we unpacked right away do it did a ton of laundry and then 
cleaned up like right when he got home but now it's we were had a busy weekend and I feel like the house is not as clean as I would like so we'll see if I have time to clean later today but Jonathan has tomorrow and Wednesday off so if nothing else I'll take a little bit of time tomorrow or Wednesday to clean um, but usually those are my heavier work days so we'll see what we get up to but um, it is 8 58 I have to leave around like 9 9 0, between 9 5 and 9 10 um, I'm just meeting Logan there at 9 20 and so we can just discuss a little bit I mean we already know the prompt and it's very like conversational versus like a formal interview but we just want to touch base quick before we go in and um, get started so gonna clean up a little bit and then we'll be on our way time into designing our bedroom because it is very bare bones. Thank you, Sadie, for weighing in on that. It's just so bare bones. We used to have pictures that hung up here and then one of them actually fell. Um, I think off, off. Yes, thank you. Um, one of them fell and then I think I, I just put them in the guest room because I didn't even love the pictures. I need to add a little more color in here. It's very stark white. Our bedding is all white except for this coverlet and like a beige pillow and the walls are all white. The, the furniture set is all white. So I just need to like break it up a little bit, but I have a hard time wanting to spend money in here because we're only in here to sleep, but it would be nice to have it like a little bit nicer, you know, but we'll see if I get to that. Sadie off, please. Off, off, off. Actually, I really need to wash these sheets. I should have done that, but maybe I'll do that tomorrow after when Jonathan's home when we have a little bit more time. Cause today I'm just kind of in a little bit of a rush. Not not a rush, but I just have a lot more going on today. <sighs> okay. All right, nothing crazy. There she is. I feel a little bit better. Just did a quick little neaten up sesh. Um, I could do a lot more, but for now, for today, for this morning, this is good. Okay, so next up, I need to go chug some water and get on the way to this interview. New segment, whatever we wanna call it. The pink is pinking. I just, I can never not wear a pink lip now. <laughs> I feel like I'm addicted. When I filmed my House of Color experience video, um, I realized like after the fact that I had lipstick on my teeth but thankfully I think it happened like right at the end of the video because I was like if I just filmed that 45 minute video with lipstick on my teeth the entire time <laughs> so I am going to get ready to head over and then I will check in with you guys afterwards anyway it's just a quick little segment and then we'll be back to do a little bit of work before my workout which it's annoying that I'm like full face of makeup, hair done, and then I work out and it's gonna be all disgusting afterwards, but such is life. To have a healthy, balanced life, sometimes you gotta do it. So here we go, off to do this new segment. Okay, 20 minutes later and we're done. Um, that was super quick, super short. Um, I, I don't even get stressed about these anymore because I just know they're super quick and very conversational, like I said. So, um, okay, I'm gonna head back home and get started on some work things, probably just responding to emails. Um, it's 9.52 and so I've got about an hour and a half before I have to go to my workout. So it's like perfect time to just check on my emails from the weekend and 
ease into work and then I'll get ready, probably eat a little bit of lunch and then go work out. So rest of my day is gonna be pretty boring until our girls night tonight, but um, typical work day. <laughs> Happy Monday. workout is done it is so nice out you guys it is January and it is 40 degrees that like never happens here um, and I was on the phone with my dad before my workout and I was looking at the weather because we were talking about how like it's so nice right now this supposed to be almost 50 next week like what is this winter I mean I'll take it I'm not complaining but it's just so wild um, anyway that workout was great I am very worn out I'm very sweaty and I can't wait to go shower um, it is 1 20 right now I was talking to um, my friend Abby who was there it was so funny we were actually texting before the class and then I walked in and I was like I didn't know she was there and she didn't know that I was coming so um, she was called couple people down she goes Audra and I was like I look over and I was like oh and it worked out there's a spot available right next to her so that worked out that I could sit by her that was fun um but yeah we are on our way home now I need to make lunch although I'm not super hungry yet um my stomach has been kind of like upset like just it's been weird since I got back from my from our honeymoon um both Jonathan and my like intestinal like lower tracks have been just kind of like weird like not feeling great um so I might just honestly heat up some bone broth and sip on that and then shower and see how I feel after that because I'm not feeling super hungry but I really should get at least a little bit of protein in which this bone broth isn't anything crazy but it's better than nothing so I think I'm just gonna do that for a start and then I might make some of that pro we have leftover protein pasta that I made the other night I made like the TikTok, like feta tomato pasta with um bonza protein noodles so I might have that for lunch um because I don't want to have like a super big lunch since it's so late um and I have to eat kind of an early dinner because I have to go to oh wait we're having dinner at her house I forgot anyway thinking out loud as I do so I'm heading home going to eat a little bit and then we are going to shower honestly I could go for a nap right now but <laughs> knowing me I'll probably get to doing stuff and get distracted but I take up Jonathan from work in two hours so we'll just be getting things done up until then I told Jonathan we should take the dogs on a walk because it's so nice out um so we'll see if he's up for that when he gets off I know the dogs would love that Okay, it is much later, it's four o'clock. Just got home from picking up Jonathan and it is a lovely 43 degrees outside, which is unheard of for January. So we are going to take these girls, my D-O-G-S for a W-A-L-K. Because we never get weather like this. So, um, and they could use the stimulation of a good walk. So, um, Jonathan is just changing. I am going to get their, these girls harnesses on, which is a feat. Um, it got really like dark and cloudy. This is weird. Like it almost looks like it's going to snow, but we are not supposed to get, I don't think any precipitation for like the next week and a half and temperatures are not going to drop below 38. So that means all of the snow is going to melt. And you know what comes with melting snow when you have dogs. Poop again. So I'm already starting to see the early signs of it, so that's gonna be fun. <laughs>
it is Tuesday. I just rolled out of bed. Well, kind of. <laughs> I'll get to that. My hair is a mess. And I'm basically wearing the same outfit I wore last night. Um, does anybody else do that? If you like just wear an outfit for an evening, like where I mean, uh, people have to do it, at least if you work from home. Um, anyway, I had a, actually a very early morning. Um, I had to drop my friend off for a surgery that she's getting done. Um, so my alarm went off at 5.45. I woke up, took her there and got home a little after 6.30 and I just went back to bed because I was like, I have a lighter day today so I can do that. Um, and I was just like, it's like, it was too early to start my day. I was like, also, this is one of the few days that I actually get the opportunity to sleep in because Jonathan has today and tomorrow off. Um, so I really try to take advantage of those days that like, I don't have to take him in. His alarm doesn't wake me up um, and things like that. So what, you wanna say hi? I think I'm talking to you again. What? Oh, okay, okay, settle, settle down. Oh, do I let mama dies? What do I let mama dies? Okay. <laughs> um, so anyway, okay, see. Enough. No, you're not going back outside. You just eat the bird seed. Um, anyway, I'm about to get started on work for the day. Um, it is got like 10.30. Yeah, it's like 10.30, which is weird. I feel like I never start my days this late, but um, I'm going to get started on work for the day. Where did I put that? Um, looking for my water and my phone and stuff. I'm gonna get started for work <laughs> on work for the day, um, and it'll probably be a pretty heavy work day today and tomorrow. Um, well, today is more just heads down like office work. Tomorrow I have a I'm supposed to have a Zoom call with a potential client in the morning, um, and then I have a lash fill. Oh, maybe it's, maybe it's not tomorrow maybe I'm thinking of next week Thursday I have a meeting with a bride and a zoom call another zoom call with a client tomorrow I have a zoom call with a potential client um, and then my lash fell tomorrow so today is pretty wide open I'm gonna go get started on work for the day and try to knock out a lot of this um, in the morning so that hopefully I can spend a little bit of time just like hanging out with Jonathan um, I really want to try to go play pickleball we got a pickleball set for Christmas and one of the gyms that we work out at, they have um, pickleball courts set up on like Tuesday, I think Tuesdays or something, Tuesdays, Wednesday, Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday from like 11 to 3.30. Sadie, stop. Oh my gosh, you guys see me like wrangling down here. Um, so I don't know. We'll see if we get to do that today. It may just be a normal gym day. It's going to be, it's beautiful out already. You guys, we, this weather we're having is crazy. I don't know if I talked about that yesterday, but highs are in like the forties. It's not supposed to drop below 38 for the next like 15 days. And it's supposed to get almost to 50 next week. So fucking crazy, but we'll take it. All right. I'm going to go get started on work. Happy Tuesday. Hi friends. <laughs> It has been a minute, which I don't know if most of you will even notice this, but I really didn't vlog at all last week. Um, I vlogged on Monday. Was that last week that I had that news interview? Um, that was the last time I vlogged. And I have been trying some other content and just kind of in like a little bit of a funk. Um, and plus, we had a really, 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 I had a really, really busy week last week. Um, we had an event for Serendipitous, and so that took up several days. Plus, I had a bunch of meetings and things like that, so it was just a really busy week. Um, and honestly, this week is really busy too, but I'm going to try to vlog. Hello, Sadie. No, stay down. Um, anyway, hi, today is Monday. Um, I am, it's right at eight o'clock and I'm going to make some breakfast. I dropped Jonathan off at work this morning because I have some meetings to go to this afternoon and, um, my brain just went blank, but came home and then I honestly just went and charged my phone for a little bit because I didn't charge it overnight and it's still not full, but whatever we'll make it work um so on the agenda today i'm gonna make some breakfast right now and then i want to get to emails and a little bit of client work and um 
get ready. And then I have a tasting with a caterer at one with some other serendipitous girls. Um, we're kind of just like slowly going around to a bunch of vendors and having like meetings with them, going over their processes and just like a refresher. And then also like introducing our team to people who, you know, now we had, like there's a couple newer girls, me, myself, and um, one of our newer planners who was an intern a few years ago, but she is now like one of our full-time planners. And um, so we're kind of like introducing ourselves and then the rest of our team is like reintroducing. Um, I'm not like new new. This is my third year doing wedding planning, um, but I still haven't met a lot of these like long term vendors, and we're also just trying to like touch down with a lot of these vendors and venues. So anyway, um, so we have a tasting, and then we're going back. The girls are just going back to the office to hang out and talk work stuff for a while, and then I pick up Jonathan and probably get some groceries, and then I have a venue meeting at 7 p.m. tonight. So it's kind of a long work day, like a weird work day. Um, with that late meeting tonight and then i have like a bunch of meetings tomorrow workouts cleaning the studio wednesday is valentine's day and it's my dad's birthday we're having family over for dinner and thursday what do i have thursday thursday i have like client call nail appointment client call like workout cleaning the studio like jam-packed back back to back day on thursday so this week is just another very busy week um but that's okay that's just the way it goes sometimes. So anyway, was MIA for last week. I'm also supposed to get my period in like two days. And so I'm in my like luteal phase where I'm just like, my energy is very low, <laughs> very low. So anyway, um, hoping to get back on the vlog train this week and we're taking you guys along per usual. All right, here's the breakfast. Are you sick of seeing this yet? Sadie, quit that. Turkey bacon, eggs, Parmesan cheese, and this is actually just a leftover piece of garlic bread because you know what? Why not? I'm, a, I'm here for a savory breakfast. It's Monday. We're starting off strong. All right. Cheers. All right. This is not the best lighting, you guys, but I have a mirror right here. <laughs> so I'm backlit, um, and I cannot for the life of me find my tripod. <clears throat> that I use for vlogging and that's kind of a problem, but there's only a few places that it could be. So it's somewhere, I just gotta find it. Wow, this looks really light when I put it on like that. Um, I tried this for the first time yesterday. Ma'am. <clears throat> Sadie's got the zoomies, her and Luna are playing. I tried this for the first time yesterday. I actually did a, my first ever TikTok live um <clears throat> and test this out <coughs> sorry guys after eating i always get so much junk in my throat um and i right away i wasn't sure about it because it looked like it was like breaking up on my skin but when i looked at it later on in the evening i actually really liked it so i'm giving it another try um but it is the if you couldn't tell what it is, it's the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour skin tint. And it has a vitamin C derivative, which I take that with a grain of salt, honestly, as far as like, if there's even enough in here to actually do anything to my skin. But anyway, <clears throat> I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna keep doing my makeup. I'm just, I'm not doing anything crazy. Just probably my normal, like day-to-day -day kind of look. Um, this is definitely very light, but once we set it and bronze it, it's totally fine. So actually it matches my neck pretty well. This was the like second lightest color they had when I got it. And I was like, it was either this or or a really, really pinky shade. And I was like, I don't think that's gonna look good. I feel like this makes me look like a mime. <laughs> okay, I'm wearing like bright red lipstick, but it looks better once I set it. All right, just concealing my couple 
spots here. I love being a girl. <laughs> Just kidding. I actually, this month, I broke out far less than I have in the past, like, six months, honestly. I've been breaking out really bad around my period. And this month is actually very, very minor comparatively. So I'm actually... I'm not complaining. I will take it. Um, if you guys can also relate, let me know. I mentioned briefly this morning that my dad's birthday is on Valentine's Day, and which is Wednesday, and that you'll, it'll probably already be passed by the time um, this goes up. But um, he, my dad lives on a one acre property and he has like a massive garden plot. And so one of the things he's been wanting to do is to have me and my little brother and sister-in-law get together and plan out a garden this year, like what we want in his garden because he starts seeds and stuff for us. And he's like a huge gardener. Like he loves landscaping and like plants and researching and all that stuff. So anyway, one of the things we're doing on Wednesday when he's over is kind of planning out our garden. And um, so I live in a twin home or a town home condo. Like there's lots of different names for it, but basically it's a house divided down the middle. So we have one shared wall with our neighbor and then it's us. And so we have like a half lot. Our backyard is not huge, um, which if you've been following me for a while, like on Instagram, you've seen our yard. We redid it last year or redid some of it last year. And um, it's not huge. It's honestly, it's fine for us. Like we have four dogs and sometimes lots of times six dogs here. And it's like totally fine. Like it's plenty of space. Um, and it's easy upkeep, but we don't have a lot of space to like grow stuff because we need space for the dogs to run. Um, so we, my dad so graciously has offered to grow a lot of vegetables for us. And um, so we're gonna plan out kind of what all we want, see if we need to order seeds. Cause I think I wanna grow some cut flowers this year. I say that and I'm very nervous to do it, but um, I've been doing very light research on it and so I think I might have instead of having so many vegetables here I honestly think I might have one bed of cut flowers and then just one bed of because we made raised beds last year sorry I need to like give context um, we made some two raised beds last year and I think I honestly might grow peppers and tomatoes in one and then use the other one for cut flowers and then incorporate some cut flowers in other spots in my yard. Just because we have some like rock beds that we're like, what the heck do we do with these? Like, so I might just use them to like experiment with um, some flowers and then I have this one bed that I'll do. Anyway, I'm just rambling now, but we're planning out our garden on Wednesday. So I'm kind of excited for that because just something to like look forward to again just mentally I'm just not in the best <laughs> headspace so I'm sorry if this is like being like a huge bummer I'm not like I promise I'm not depressed it's just where I'm at in my cycle I'm just kind of like blah so um that is happening later this week which will be fun um we are I live in South Dakota for those that don't know and we're zone 4 4b I believe um so we do not typically plant until May at the absolute earliest. Um, certain, like obviously like certain flowers could be planted before then and like bulbs that need to be like in the ground and like can deal with the cold to like help them germinate, that's fine. But for the majority of things, you start them indoors or you just expect like, expect, like a really late harvest. So um, I am just, I just need to do a little bit more research on the specific flowers I want to grow. Like I would love to grow ranunculus, potentially some um, dianthus, no, delphinium, like the stock, stocky plants. Um, and I don't know, I just gotta do some more research because I actually have been seeing 
for the last like two years I've been seeing videos on my TikTok about flower farmers and just obviously I would just be doing it more for me and like to gift to people but I want to try my hand at it because now I've had like a decent amount of experience with just a vegetable garden and now I would like to branch out a little bit and have some pretty flowers to cut and gift to people. I loved creating bouquet, little bouquets just from like the flowers that were in my garden last year, um, just perennials. But this year I think we're going to branch out and do some annuals, um, like cut flowers, like ranunculus. Dahlias, I don't know if I have the space for them. We'll see. And I don't know, again, if I missed the planting time, I gotta just do a little more research, more research but um, maybe some like yarrow or Queen Anne's lace to, cause I was, I saw this video yesterday and this girl was like, make sure you mix in plenty of like filler plants, not just the big like wow flowers. And I understand what she's saying just from last year having all of my perennials, I like understand what she means. So anyway, I think I'm gonna mix that into my my garden plan this year so that'll be fun to take you guys along all right i'm gonna finish getting ready i'm, I'm honestly almost ready this is about all it's gonna be um i look so pasty on camera um gonna finish getting ready and then i'm gonna do a little bit of work here this morning um before i head off to my meeting well meeting number one my take the tasting and then i'll check in with you guys throughout the day Happy Monday. I'm trying to pick up the energy. I'm so sorry, you guys. I mean, if you're a woman, you get it. And you like are aware, very aware of your cycles. Like I am, you get it. But I just really can't wait to get out of this funk. All right, I will check in with you guys in a little bit. All right, hello everyone. It is several hours later. It is just after noon. The last three hours, four hours, what the heck? just down a rabbit hole for one of my event clients and <laughs> some of the girls are like okay don't worry we're almost there and I'm like wait what like our tasting is until one I didn't realize that we're they were planning on having us meet at the office first so anyway just let the dogs out I think flight was already ready um, but now I'm on my way to the office and we're just gonna hang out and then we're gonna go to the tasting and then we're gonna go back to the office and actually just kind of like hang out, talk over some stuff until I have to leave to go get Jonathan. I think I ran over that this morning, but anyway. Excited to be spending some time with my coworkers this week. Okay, cool, it's now <laughs> three hours later and I have filmed nothing. Um, finished with my afternoon meetings. Um, I met up with our girls and got some new Sarah Devitas merch, which is so fun. Um, we have a few other things coming in later this week, but we got some new like sweatshirts and t-shirts and stuff to wear, um, like when we're setting up tearing down at events, things like that. So that's kind of fun. And we had a tasting with a catering company that was actually really good. And then we went back to the office to set up some meetings. We're going to Minneapolis next week um, for a little trip for our Minneapolis office. We're doing a styled shoot and an event to introduce Anna to the people in the industry, which is super fun. Um, what else? That was pretty much it. Kind of went through some design stuff, checked in with some clients, the whole thing. So. Um, I am on my way to pick up Jonathan right now and I have like a weird gap. Again, I have a seven o'clock meeting tonight, so I'll probably go home and like chill for a little bit and then maybe even like start working again. I don't know. It's like such a weird time. Maybe I'll go to the gym. I don't know. I'm working out three other times this week though. So I'm like, and again, before your period, you're not really supposed to go like crazy if you're like cycle syncing you're a girl so I'm kind of like I don't really I'd rather just like stay home and get some work done and yeah I don't know we'll see I really I don't know <laughs> it's just like oh I'm so used to being done around this time because I like pick up Jonathan and then sometimes I'll like wrap up a few things or if I have like calls or whatever I'll like wrap up emails and like check-ins for the day and then I'm like done for the day so it's so weird having an evening meeting I mean it's totally fine like it comes with you know the it's part all part of the gig because obviously some people can't do their meetings during the day um 
because of work schedules or whatever, like this particular bride is in med school. So they are, um, she's very limited as far as, um, when she can meet because she has lots of things going on for that. So anyway, rambling on per usual. Um, but I'm excited for the next couple weeks coming up. I also, I also literally cannot believe that February is half over. I feel like it literally started yesterday. So I'm probably going to say this every month though, except January, January felt kind of long, but that's also pretty typical. Okay, on my way to pick up Jonathan, um, and I saw a notification that I got his Valentine's Day gift in. Um, again, I said this earlier, but this will probably be up quite a bit after Valentine's Day, just because I have some other videos that I have to post first, but um, I got him, so I can tell you what it is, is why I'm saying that. <laughs> so I got him this necklace, and I know it sounds so weird, but it's like a men's chain necklace, and it has like a ring on it, which I don't even know if he'll wear it with the ring on it. I mean, it looks cool. The ring is just supposed to, it's like a symbolization of like commitment and like eternal love or like whatever it was like on the, on the listing. But anyway, it's this like silver chain necklace. And I just, I've been wanting to get him like a necklace that he can wear like every day. And so I ordered this from an Etsy shop and yeah, I'm excited to give it to him just because I feel like I always give him so much crap. He hates Valentine's Day. He's very vocal about how much he hates Valentine's Day and I always give him crap for it because I'm like, okay, well you're just mad because you don't want to like get me a gift or something. And he usually does end up, I, I don't want to say always, but because I don't remember honestly, but he usually ends up getting me flowers and you know, doing something cute. So I was like, well, why the heck haven't I ever done anything for him on Valentine's Day? So I got him a little gift just to, you know, make sure we're equal. We're on the same page. So that'll be fun. And I also got a delivery of dog food. Very exciting. So anyway, those will be waiting for me when I get home. Yay. All right, friends, we are home. My dogs are chewing on bones in the background. So don't mind that. We got our new serendipitous swag. So here we go, crew neck sweatshirt with our logo. Cute. We got a pink t-shirt, again, with our logo. Um, we rebranded this year and our colors are just like lots of shades of pink and orange with like little pops of orange and then like black and white. So then got the same thing in black with the pink logo. And this is what was so fun. <laughs> Neon pink sweatshirt. And then we still have a quarter zip and um, like a Lululemon kind of like sweatshirt in like light gray that is um, coming this week, I think. So anyway, that's this little swag. I got Jonathan's Valentine's Day gift. I think he's changing for the gym, so. Oh god, this lighting is horrible this time of day. But shirts or like over you know so that's just a fun little gift and it came in a little drawstring bag so guys I'll, I'll tag them where I got it from pretty fast shipping too and here's this one. I to like rip open this package okay we are all guys happy friday i did not vlog the last two days because they were very boring days <laughs> just heavy heads down work days um today is not going to be much different but it's friday 
I am on my way to a workout right now. My dad just came and picked up his dogs. We watched them um, overnight last night because he had an overnight shift. And I'm going to work out and then clean the studio. Going to come home. Got to wash the hair. I'm going to self tan and get to work. Um, I need to finish some work for a client, some um, graphics for a client. I need to send out a proposal for a potential new client. And I want to start editing another vlog. Um, I just posted my honeymoon vlog yesterday. So I'm glad I finally got that up a week and a half after, well, a week after we got back. But um, I definitely have enough. I want to do like a weekend in my life vlog because I, I like vlogged this past weekend. And then depending on how that goes, maybe I'll add to it or I probably have enough footage for two vlogs, honestly. So, which is good. Because um, obviously I try to vlog, but it's the editing that takes much longer to actually get it up because you're having to watch through the footage start to finish. So it takes way longer. So anyway, I am off to a sculpt class and then I am cleaning the studio afterwards and then we'll be back to do to get on with our day um I was just looking at the weather when my dad was here like the true adult that I am and it's not supposed to be sunny until literally next Saturday it's supposed to be cloudy all week and we're supposed to get highs in the 50s 55 on Wednesday which is just insane. This weather is so weird for us. But he was saying it is supposed to cool down again um, in the end of the towards the end of February. So we'll see. I cannot believe it's February. It's so weird. Like January felt long, but it's just weird. So anyway, all right, off to the gym. I'll see you guys when I get back. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see. Don't mind the giant crack in my windshield. But it is so foggy. Um, I don't. I never know if the camera actually picks up. It never looks as foggy on camera. Like it'll still look foggy, but it's like the visibility looks further than it actually is. But anyway, it's super foggy and so gloomy. And when I, when I looked at the leather, I was like, I almost wish I wouldn't have because now just knowing that it's supposed to be so cloudy for so many days, I'm just like early depressed like depressed in advance <laughs> um premeditated depression but um anyway i oh i'm cutting it real close here it's 8 15. i usually try to get there a little bit early so i can just sit in the sauna in the infrared and bake <laughs> no but like helping with like detox and stuff but obviously my dad is there, we get chatty, but it actually worked out because I do really like spending the mornings after his shifts with him, but he had a lot of patients last night for lack of a better term. <laughs> my dad works at a funeral home and he, so my, basically my whole childhood, he was a hospice chaplain and he um, was laid off like COVID era ish. And, um, he worked there for 17 years, I think. And so this is his like kind of like retirement job. Like he only works a couple days a week, but he works overnight shifts. And so when people pass, um, he has to go get them. <laughs> and it's just so weird that that's what he does, but um, it's all normal to him. He's been around, you know, funerals and hospice patients and stuff his whole life. So it's like normal for him, but not his whole life, but his whole career. Um, so anyway, last night he had a lot and also he, um, he gets some like pain in his legs. We're not really sure what it's from, but he said his legs were really bothering him. So he got like no sleep. So anyway, it worked out that like I had to go and he didn't get a lot of sleep. So like the nights that he gets a lot of sleep, we sit and chat for hours and it's like nice little morning with coffee and um today it worked out that like I had to go to a workout and he needed sleep so he didn't want to stay for a super long time otherwise I would have felt bad like not sitting and chatting with him but so anyway I'm running a little bit late all that to say <laughs> running a little bit late but it's fine um I'll be there cleaning afterwards so I'll get some extra burn some extra calories first of all because I have to put all the weights away um and also just being in the infrared a little bit longer so all right, that is my little jab for the morning. Um, I'm gonna go work out. And then I shaved my whole body last night, so at least I don't have to do that today, but I do have to self tan. So it's gonna be a, like a half everything shower, you know, when you get home. So we will check in with you guys after this.
Okay, workout done. Let's see, 497 calories. Gotta let it run until I get 500. Just kidding. Um, I burned a lot more calories than I thought I would. Oh, what's this? Oh, interesting. Okay, I don't know if this is new. I mean, I have a, oh, you guys aren't gonna be able to see this. I have a very old Apple Watch. I don't even know what series, like three or four, I feel like. Um, and I just saw that they have this tracker for like the zone that you're in. That's cool. So like blue, green, more green, orange, red, you know, so. Um, ideally you wanna get up to that orange level, I think for like the majority of your workout, I think is what it is. Average heart rate is 142. Let's see, what was my, oh, I have to end it for that. Average heart rate, 142, highest is 181. That's pretty average for me. I honestly don't know what's like good or bad for heart rate. Like, I know it's good to have like a lower resting heart rate, but I don't wear my Apple Watch enough to tell that. And I've been really wanting to get an Aura Ring, um, but I'm like, this is fine for now. You know, I'll see, see if I ever get an Aura Ring. I mean, I just feel like the Aura Ring is just more, I just hate the look of this and it's like bulky and annoying. And also I don't love being constantly like vibrated, like when I get a notification for anything. And I have a lot of my notifications turned off on my phone just because I work on my phone a lot. I don't like constantly being distracted by like everything coming through. But an aura ring, I feel like would be nice for that side of it. Like there are times when it's nice, like when I'm doing weddings to just like, oh, I'm getting a text. I don't have to like have my phone on me. But the majority of the days when I'm just like at home working, it actually drives me nuts. So I've been trying to wear it just to see what my like resting heart rate is. Um, but beyond that, I'll wear it occasionally for workouts. I even stopped wearing it for workouts because I feel like I was only working out to see how many calories I burned and that's not healthy. But now I feel like it's just, it's, it's information and I take it at face level. That's all, it's just like kind of fun to see um, how much I allegedly burn. Although I've heard Apple watches aren't even accurate. So another reason that I want to get an aura ring, but it is what it is. So anyway, okay, workout was done, it was good. And we are gonna go home, shower, wash my hair. I'm already hungry even though I had like a little bit of protein before I came so I need to make like a full breakfast but it's like weird time it's almost 10 o'clock so I don't know we'll see what I do maybe I'll just make a protein shake and because I'm out of eggs that's what sucks is eggs are so easy and quick I could make up some turkey bacon maybe I'll do that turkey bacon and a protein shake anyway I'm very ready to wash my hair and be tan again because I did not get tan for my vacation if there's one thing you need to know about me, it's that I can't chug anything quickly except water. I cannot just like down a protein shake. I can't down a soda. I can't down a beer. I can't down I, nothing. I can't chug drinks unless it's water. So I really should have thought that through and not put so much liquid in here, but it's, it is really good. I just am not a drinker, but anyway. Um, getting ready to shower, wash my hair, and I am going to self tan after. So, if you're not familiar, the best way to apply self tanner is with rubber gloves. Um, I don't even remember. I think Julia Havens was the one that I learned this from, and now I see like so many people on TikTok doing it. It makes such a world of a difference as far as like how dark your color gets and how much product you use because these mitts don't get me wrong i will still use these like i use these on jonathan because we were out of gloves um before our honeymoon but these absorb so much product and they get so gross like honestly full transparency so you can't even see it because the door i have never washed this and i really need to just like chuck it or wash it so <laughs> putting that with my workout towel but i literally got this massive box from costco where did I even put it? Oh, I put it under here, right? I don't even remember where I put it. But massive box from Costco of these gloves. So we're not gonna run out, run out anytime soon. And then Jonathan's like coming up with, he's like, do we really need that many? And I was like, well, where else are we gonna get them? Like we're here, let's get them. 
we well, can use them in the future when we have puppy litters. And then he's like, yesterday, he's like, oh, I know how I can use those gloves. And I was like, oh, how is that? And he goes, meat prep. Whenever he's prepping like meat, like you see from Costco, we get like, oh, that reminds me. I gotta take steaks out of the freezer. Um, we get like the big thing of ground beef and then he will segment it into little bags of one pound portions. And so he's like trying to come with weight. I'm like, no, don't worry about it. I will use these for tanning. <laughs> like, we'll be fine. So get a shower and then I will check in once I'm showered and tanned. I'm gonna look a little wild, I'll tell you that. Okay, shower and tanned, hair is dried. That took way too long. It's like 11.30 now. So I think I'm gonna go make lunch and then get started on work um, just because I don't wanna have to stop in like half an hour, 45 minutes when I'm hungry. And I'm still nursing the shake. We're almost there, but I just need something savory. I am a savory gal. I would much rather have savory protein than a silly protein shake, but <laughs> which I'm getting better about eating beef um, and like more whole foods. That has been the goal. And honestly, incorporating more beef has been, has made it a lot easier to get more protein in. Um, we bought, I showed from Costco, we got these um, steaks, which I need to take some out of the freezer because that's what we're having for dinner. Um, we got these top sirloin caps, like eight of them for 50 bucks. Like I, that's, I mean, I think that's a really good price when you break it down to like how much you're paying per meal. Oops, sorry, Looney. Um, that's like a really good price. So we got those and we calculated it out and they're like 87 grams of protein. Like, it's insane. Um, I'm actually gonna double check when I take these out because I could not believe that. I was like, that is, that seems excessive. But I was like, no, that's probably, I mean, the, I think these are like 10 ounce steaks. Um, Cause what I did is I weighed this bag and there are six of them in this bag and I just divided it by six. And it equaled out to be like 87 grams per steak. And I was like, holy, crap that is wild so anyway these are like oh perfect there's two that are actually not super frozen so let's weigh these i have to keep my zero starter so many things okay so let's weigh this one granted this is frozen i don't know if that affects the weight nine and a half ounces so that's like 80 grams of protein in this one steak. Um, this one's probably a little bit smaller. Yeah, this one's eight ounces, but still 75 grams of protein in one piece of meat. Insane. I was telling John, I was like, you eat two of these a day and you are set. Set, at least as a woman, for my protein goal. Um, I'm still working it, working my way up to getting a really good amount of protein in but this helps so it's right there nine and a half ounces and eight ounces so that's insane the same amount of protein okay um i'm going to cook up what do i have for lunch crap i sent jonathan with my protein um no that is not for you i don't even know what i have i know i have some of my brussels sprout salad which heck yeah um, oh, you know what I need to do? I'm sorry, you guys. I am so all over the place always. But so we have my Brussels sprout salad, which is amazing. But I think what I'm going to do, the cottage cheese trend is coming back around on TikTok. So I think I want to mix these. I'm going to cook up some chicken nuggets. We have some of the, I don't, I don't even remember which ones we get. It's not the just bare ones. I actually like those better from Costco, the ones that are like Chick-fil-A dupes um but i think i'm going to cook up some chicken nuggets in the air fryer really quick look out see you can't have that sorry sis and then um you make like a chicken parmesan kind of vibe with cottage cheese marinara sauce and like parmesan cheese seasoning stuff like that so i'm gonna make that and i'm gonna have some of my brussels sprout salad and then it's gonna be like noon before I even start working, but that's just the way it is when I work out in the mornings. My dad was here. I didn't get to do as much this morning as I usually do, so. Um, 
we're gonna make lunch and then I'll show you guys how it turns out. We'll do a taste test. All right, here she is. I can't tell if it looks good or not. <laughs> I haven't stirred it together, um, but it smells pretty dang good. I'm not gonna set you guys up yet, but I added it in, let's see. Oh, I guess this doesn't divide out like the protein by meals, but let's see. So this is 37 grams of protein. I put in half a cup of cottage cheese, half a cup of Rayo's marinara sauce, about an eighth of a cup of Parmesan cheese, and then six of these chicken nuggets. So not bad, not a bad lunch. Um, I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna get to work and I will check in with you guys later. Oh my gosh, that is so good, you guys. I mean, granted, I like cottage cheese, but I can't taste it like when it's mixed in with the sauce. I'm just reheating it a little bit because it wasn't as warm as I like it. But this is so good. I added in Italian seasoning, salt, pepper, and red pepper flakes. And that was it. So stinking good and so much protein. This is amazing. I'm not gonna eat my Brussels salad because this is a lot of food and I just need to get to work. So maybe have that as a snack later. But this is amazing, highly recommend. Baby, so good.